Hi friends, welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary and today we're going to make a Thanksgiving card. We'll use some papers from this Simple Stories Snap Color Vibe 6x6 paper pad. Love this one. We'll also use this Die Cuts with a View Fall and Halloween Combo Mat Stack. I got this a couple of years ago from Joann's, I think. And you may still be able to get this one. But I use this plaid right here. I'm loving some plaid right now. We're going to use this Cricut Close to My Heart Flower Market cartridge. I got this from Melanie Brown. She's a Close to My Heart consultant. Guys, this is an awesome cartridge. I told you when I first got it, I got so many ideas for cards using this cartridge. And we'll be doing one of them today. And I'm going to leave a link right here so you can go over and check out this cartridge and pick this up from Melanie. You will love it, guys. It's an awesome cartridge. We're going to use the Cards TV Big Holiday Wishes stamp set. We're going to use Happy Thanksgiving. And we're going to use a Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle sketch. And we're going to use sketch number five. And to get these, you can go over to my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com. And there's 14 sketches there. There's going to be 15 soon. <laughs> but right now we have 14. And you can uh, go over to my blog, as I said, and look up at the top for Mary's Card Sketches. You'll find all 14. And you can download them to your computer and save them. And if you want, you can print them out and put them in a little photograph album like I have. I got this at the dollar store for a dollar. And it's perfect to keep my sketches in. As always, I've got my sketch here. And I've got my kit and caboodle card with everything cut out in the envelope. And you can go ahead and make up these kits. So when you need a card, you've got everything there ready to go. So we've got a craft card base. This is a portrait style card, just like the card sketch, and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And inside I've got all my pieces. Now I've cut some extra mats this time because you know me, I like mats. <laughs> I just love layering. So I've got some extra ones here, but we'll go ahead and get the base done. I love these two colors together. This is a polka dot, and it's kind of a burnt orange, but not a dark burnt orange. It's it's not a coral. <laughs> it's just a beautiful color, and I'm pairing it with this pretty pale turquoise. I love that together. Now, the sketch calls for this mat, which is four by five and a quarter. I cut an extra mat. And this is four and one eighth by five and three eighths to go under my polka dots. Here's my card base all put together. Now, just like in the sketch, I've cut these three rectangles, but I cut another layer, as I said, another mat to go behind or go on top of each one. This one is one and five eighths by three and an eighth, just like in the sketch, but I cut another one. And this is three inches by one and a half inches. I'm going to go ahead and get these three adhered together and get them on the front. And I really love this turquoise with that orange running through it on this plaid. Plaid is really big right now. And I think it's great for this Thanksgiving card. So I'll get these put together and adhered down. And then let me show you what this is. That's going to be a pumpkin pie. <laughs> when I got that flower market cartridge, this is on page 9. So it's one of the first things I flipped to. And I thought, oh my goodness, I love this pie. I'm going to make this a pumpkin pie for a Thanksgiving card. So that's what I've done. Isn't it cute, guys? So, as I said, this is page 9. I cut the top and the bottom at an inch and a half. Now, I cut three layers for the top of the pie because I want this to stand out a lot 
from the pie pan and the base. And the top layer, I used my Cuddlebug Swiss Dots embossing folder and just ran the top layer through. I'm going to use my two-way glue pen and get all three of these layers put together. Here are my three layers of pie crust. And I know this is probably the first pumpkin pie ever with a top crust, but humor me. <laughs> it's orange, so it's pumpkin, okay? <laughs> but I've got my tea dye distress ink and my finger dauber. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that tea dye distress ink around the edges. And this will really make this pop from the background. And that's a pretty busy background, so it really needs to stand out. I love the polka dot and plaid together, though. I think it's really cute. And I really like that little bit of turquoise peeking out from behind that polka dot paper. And I'm going to just rub a little bit on top here, very lightly, just to make those little polka dots stand out from that Cuddlebug embossing folder, that Swiss dots. Now I'm going to take my two-way glue pen and put this on. See how that really makes it stand out? And then I'm going to put the whole thing on foam tape. It's going to go right here. This is the back of my orange paper. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty loud, huh? I went ahead and finished my little Thanksgiving card, and my pumpkin pie's got some nice height and dimension to it. And I did go over it again with some more of that Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink, and I also did the pie pan to make it pop off the card as well. I added a couple of these turquoise enamel dots. I thought it just needed a little bit more turquoise. And I added this fishtail banner down here with my sentiment, Happy Thanksgiving. And that came from the Cards TV Big Holiday Wishes stamp set. And I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp that. And this banner was cut at a half an inch. Before I did the fishtail, it was a half an inch by four and a half. But then after I notched the ends, it became a half inch by four and a quarter. So there we go, guys. I used sketch number five from the Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle series. And I used that wonderful, close to my heart, Cards TV, <laughs> close to my heart, Cricut <laughs> Flower Market cartridge. Go see Melanie Brown and pick this one up, guys. Here's her link right here. You will love this cartridge. There's so many awesome things in here for making cards and scrapbook pages and tags and mini albums. You name it. This is a great cartridge. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now. <laughs>